So apparently there's now four people that have been added to the superseding indictment, whereas before it was three being added. And the fourth person is not Takashi 6 9 It's shoddy? Huh? Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost, what's up, party people? I right, so, yeah. So it seems that we kind of got confirmation. Okay, so I'm going to talk about, obviously, the new paperwork that has came out. Now it isn't just three people who's charged with the shooting. It's four. But the problem that everybody seems to be having, having is it's not that there is four. It's that none of the four is Sakashi 6 9 It's like people believe that it should at least be five. Now, once again, I'll say this. I'm going to go back to something that I said over the summer, or pardon me, over when they first got arrested and even before they first got arrested. What I said was this, Takashi 6 9 is not the boss. He is not the head guy. He is not. There's a lot of his big fans that want to believe that he is. Okay, whatever. But he was never the guy in charge. He was just a figurehead. That's it. That's all he ever was. He was a, 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 a statue for everybody to look up to or for people to look at and then try to just, you know, to control the masses, the way to look. He was, they wasn't controlling anybody, but that's just the image that they was portraying and they was portraying, it, portraying the image through Takashi 6 9 thus allowing for them to look like he was some kind of big boss while other people were actually in charge and they did things behind the scene. Got it? Okay, I've been saying this. That's why when these three individuals have been charged and then you hear that a fourth name is going to be added to this particular indictment because they do have a superseding indictment. And once again, the superseding indictment is not being made bigger due to social media videos posted by people on YouTube. This, vi this, this superseding indictment is actually being affected directly due to the hard work that the FBI and other organizations have been doing while they've been investigating this particular set of crimes or alleged crimes, allegedly. So I just keep pointing that out because I used to get a lot of comments talking about I'm helping the, helping the police, but I don't see anything that I've ever said that they've acted on. And because I know people that know a little bit about what's going on in these cases, I can tell you, I have not ever helped the FBI. I think that they would prefer that some of the things that I've said, I didn't say. Not like, oh man, we can't wait to hear with that, with, with that guy that, you know, didn't do half the schooling that we did, didn't do, do half of the training that we did. We can't wait to hear what he has to say. Anyway. I'm just messing with y'all right now. That was just fun. Anyway, so uh, apparently Shadi has been added to this particular set of indictments. Um, also, everybody has to know that anybody that's added to the indictments, yeah, they are facing a lot of time. This is a RICO charge. They're acting in concert as an organization to commit crimes. That means that everybody is kind of being charged with almost everything. You understand what I'm saying? If one person is basically... Uh, it's a RICO charge. I, I'm not going to go into that. But 6 9 has not been added. Now, we had on uh, a Tonight Show with Jack Frost, we had just just last night, I believe it, last night was uh, uh, Wednesday the 30th, we had Snow Billy on. And Snow Billy 
kind of, in my opinion, confirmed. I said, uh, I asked him flat out. I asked him. He tried to, you know, be real nice about it, be real, you know, uh, explain the situation, which was dope because a lot of people don't understand the situation. Then after he explained the situation, what he then said was, yes, he's, he's, he's cooperating. And just so everybody can understand what cooperating means, often in order for you to cooperate, you have to tell what you did. See, this is the way the law works, at least the federal government, right? There's a checklist with points. They say, okay, were you involved in this? They know you was involved with it. They say, were you involved with this? And depending on what you, you know, cooperate with is depending on how many points you get. And the point system helps when you're getting sentenced. All right? So remember that. So when they say, are you cooperating? Because they want to know what crimes you committed and knowing what crimes you committed, when you committed it and where they commit, where you committed the crimes, help them figure out the other people that committed other crimes. That's why you're actually asking. So you're not snitching because you're not telling on anybody except for yourself. But because you are, they are, you are allowing them to know what you did and didn't do. And when you did and didn't do it, they could put things together. Now, with this being said, the fact that he's not on that indictment, it looks very much like he could have just, and I'm not saying he did, I'm just saying this is what it's looking like. It's looking very much so like Snow Billy was right, and he is cooperating, and it could be going a little bit further than that, that he might be pointing a few fingers. Not sure. Not sure. We still need more. Because who isn't to say that somebody else isn't cooperating? And in their cooperating, they kind of, their cooperation pushed him out of the picture. You understand? By them saying what they did, they basically exonerated him for this particular crime. That could have happened. And we don't know what happened. So let's wait a little bit longer. Is there a good chance that he's uh, snitching, as people want to call it? Absolutely, there's a good chance. You just got to pay attention to what's going on. There's a great chance of that, and that's a fact. But at the same time, he could just be cooperating. With that being said, I'm going to have some paperwork out a little bit later today. There's going to be another video that I'm going to do on this. It's going to have paperwork attached to it. I just want to make sure that I go over the paperwork with a thin fine tooth comb. Yeah, that's how, it, that's how the saying goes. I want to go over the paperwork with a fine tooth comb before I post it before I uh, post the paperwork and, and give you my opinion of the paperwork, I want to make sure I go over the paperwork really well. But there is some paperwork. I'm going to be posting a video on it. But as of right now, before I've actually read the paperwork, I'm saying there is a good chance that he told. But we got to see it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, there's a good chance. There's more than a good chance. I haven't really looked at the paperwork all the way. It's a lot of paperwork. It's going to take me a minute to get through it. And as far as I know, Snow Billy, last night on the show, he said, he confirmed that Takashi 6 9 is cooperating. So I guess you could take that however you want to take that. I think that everybody should look at the realism of the situation that the, um, um, pardon me, the, uh, crypts didn't want to let him in. As far as I remember, Scum Lord, Scum Lord, I think his name is Slum Lord or Scum Lord. I think it's Scum. I don't know, man. I don't want to say the guy's name wrong. Dizzy. I'm just terrible with names, y'all. Seriously, Dizzy didn't want to let him in the uh, the, the 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 gang, the 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 uh, Crips. He was ready to let him be an artist that worked with them or conjunction, or he worked with them and they gave him security, I guess. But he didn't want to be he didn't want him to be in the actual gang that's what i've heard i'm not 100 percent sure but that's what i've heard um snow billy said it was never the plan you know until his tragedy happened where he got shot in the head he was always said it was never the plan to blood in takashi so to be perfectly honest with you how can people expect for him to stand tall and he's really only really been a gang member for like a year you know that's why in in i'm not trying to be disrespectful towards any gang members or whatever but 
that's like the the biggest difference between I guess gangs in in LA over on the West Coast and gangs over here in the East Coast because you know over in the West Coast is they have so much tradition you know there's generations upon generations upon generations of bloods and crips and other gangs you know generations you know grandmothers and, and that's been doing this since they was you know knee high to a grasshopper so I, I just think there's a different vibe and a different feel. This guy was a gang member for a couple, a couple of what, a couple of months. He was a gang member. He was. How could you expect for him to have the same resolve as individuals that's been doing this for 10, 15, 20 years? I, I just don't think that's realistic. Anyway. And shout out to uh, academics. He he put out a good video on this also. Uh, and I think <laughs> I was laughing, right? Cause he got a point. People were like, academics was like, yo, y'all gotta pick a lane. Either y'all want me to report on this shit or you don't. God dang it. I hate cursing. Either y'all want me to report on this or you don't. Right. And I think he's 100% right, but I've never said he shouldn't report on it. I just said, yo, my dude, how you put out the video with homeboy <laughs> giving the hit. You should have reported on it. Absolutely. You should report on everything. But when they have video evidence, probably don't put that out. That's just my opinion, though. But whatever, man. Who am I? Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.